Today in this video we will discuss Scheiner principle. This is the principle used in automated refraction and according to Scheiner principle uh, we can find uh, the place where light rays are focused in the eye from a distant object by using Scheiner disc. Now what is Scheiner disc? Scheiner disc is a small disc having two pinhole apertures and the function of this disc is that it limits the light rays coming from distant object into two small light bundles. One bundle of light goes from here and one bundle of light uh, rays goes from here and they enter the eye. And you have to place this shiner disc in, fr in front of the pupil of the patient's eye. So when light rays pass through uh, these two pinholes, there is a possibility that uh, they form a single focus on the retina. If this happens, this will indicate that the patient is emetrope. Patient has no refractive error. But in case of refractive error, two different light spots are formed on the retina. How? Let's see. Number one possibility, light rays coming from this pinhole apertures are focused in front of the retina and then diverge to form two spots on the retina. This is the case of myopia. In case of hypermetropia, again light rays from these two pinhole apertures are not focused on retina, they go behind. As a result, again two light spots are formed on the retina. So when two light spots are formed on the retina, uh, this will indicate refractive error. If it happens in this fashion, it is myopia. If it happens in this fashion, it is hypermetropia. What you have to do, you have to move the target in such a way that these two light spots are converted into a single focus on the retina. In case of myopia, we have to shift it from here to here and in case of hypermetropia, we have to shift focus from here to here and when one focus is formed, the movement of the target will uh, give you the amount of refractive error present. So this was Shiner principle.